Okay, so I've got to the stage where I've kind of almost put all the shut gaps in. I just need to do the trunk gap and the hood shut gap. Um, but I'm going to leave that for now and we'll move on to the door handles. I managed to find a better image where it's zoomed in a lot closer on the door handle so I can see what's going on. Uh, this was the area I was unsure about, but yeah, now I can see it goes up and then across. So there's like a facet in here that runs round, and that's important. Uh, but we'll start by putting this outer edge in, just trim it away, and then build the handle. For this process, you'll need the side view and the top view of it. Yeah, it shows them in the top view as well, which is good. And that helps with plan. But yeah, first we'll start with side view. Uh, okay, it is a bit annoying with this, but at least we've got a good image to work from. Uh, so I'm guessing this goes like that, it kind of mimics the rear edge. And just uh, follow the lines around. Project them on, trim them away. away. I'm hoping once I've done one door handle, I can just copy and paste it to the rear, but we'll see. Like it might need some rotating and things like that. Obviously the um, the cutout around the door handle will be different slightly. But maybe we can get away with oh, copying and pasting the door handle. I don't know why you, I can't I haven't done a door handle in a long time so I'll probably find out that you can't do that. You might have to model two, which would be annoying. So again just uh, Sketch the curves in to intersect. Don't worry about the uh, rounded corners yet. Doesn't have to be perfect either. Just close enough. A bit of crown on that. Right, let's see what we got. Cool. Just discard all of this. Oh, make sure they're intersecting. Okay, we've got the hole, and now let's draw in the curves for the handle. Some people might like to try this in sub D, but I hate sub D, so I won't be doing that. Uh, let's look at the image again. So yeah, we'll start with this one, and then this core, and then that core. This core here is, this edge is just going to be determined by the trim edge anyway. Probably same for that one as well, we'll see as we go along. So this one, plan view, oh, it's quite rounded and uh, the lines are very blurred and thick but it's going to be the, almost the outer edge isn't it, so close to that. There. We might need to adjust it inside view a bit after this. Let's have a look. Yep. So annoyingly, there's no indication of it on the side view, but I'm, it's going to be it's going to run parallel to the the lines above and below it. So we need to make sure it does that. So stretch curve up, stretch curve. Snap that to there and to there, and just kind of, I don't know, give it a little bit of positive. You could use your curvature combs to see what the curves are doing, but I mean, I'm not bothered. Still looks a bit negative. Oh, 
that'll do. Okay, so let's have a look at the image. I feel like it's just the draft that's then trimmed away. Like it doesn't re I don't think it twists. So yeah. Not a draft will do a monorail from this edge along there. Oh, make sure it's not curvature position. See what it's doing. Uh, is that twisting? No. Let's just carry on building. One, two, uh, and then we'll. Oh, okay. Maybe this needs to come a bit lower. The uh, trim, I mean. away. Oh, one. Just kind of uh, guessing what to do. We'll do a by rail here. And I'm not worrying too much about the top edge because we're going to trim that back anyway. Positional, positional, positional. The surface doing. Hmm. Okay, let's just see what happens when I trim it so it does this. Okay, again, it's not obvious where to trim those lines on here, so we're gonna have to guess. I'd say to like there. And uh, trim that, trim that. Trim that. Yeah, looks about right. And then uh, we're going to build one big think oh. one big surface in there let's try it so like a big square that will then be trimmed away this looks very round make sure it's all positional I'm going to put it on a different shader because the screen's difficult to tell what's going on. Oh, it looks alright. I might decrease the roundness a little bit. Just on this side. Oh, of course it's not going to update because it's lost its history. Alright, now we'll keep it like that. Uh, and now we will trim that edge away. Uh, and here we don't know what's going on. So I'm just going to guess. Look at the image again. Yeah, you can't, it's difficult to tell. Um, but I do think I've gone a bit low there. One. One, two. Maybe that's a bit thick. Yeah, should definitely go thinner, but we can see from top view actually. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Can be a bit of moving in real view. Okay. 
still way off. This edge is meant to go up to there, but mm, it's not because I followed the side view exactly. So yeah, my plan view is actually slightly different to the side view. So we'll go with this. I think that looks decent enough. Let's have a look at the image. Maybe I've gone too harsh with that. Maybe it was going to be less. Anyway. I'll leave it like that. Two, three, keep. I reckon I'm gonna change this. Oh. No, oh, no. Speed that up a bit. And also Change the angle of that slightly. Cool, looking all right. Okay, next, this surface. What does it look like? Does it twist at all? Looks like it kind of does. Uh, I'm just going to draft down off these surfaces for now and manipulate them. Snap the C the, the pivot of the CVs to that end and rotate them like that, and then give it some crown. So increase the number of CVs to two. Grab the center hull of each draft and just pull them out in Y. Yeah, uh, and then we need to give these are rad. Don't forget to save your work. Then again, shall I do the underneath first? Probably best to do that. Yeah. So I'll just. I think I will. Well, actually, I'm going to trim this. No. Oh, yeah, that's a bit negative there, so. Extend these to three. One, two, three. Just project that on. Trim that back. I'm also going to give this a bit of crown here so it almost hits that. There you go. Extend this curve on surface, trim, and yeah, let's build this under surface. I'm just going to do a draft, I think. I could try a square though, let's see.
I think it's meant to do something like that. Hmm. I'm going to exaggerate this. That's better. Okay, let's try the square. One, two, three. Uh, not terrible. I think a draft would have been better. Yeah, because you see it's twisting in there. Alright, let's try drafting. One, two, three. Uh, grab the CVs, move them in, and hope. Yeah, that's good. better. Cool. Uh, and I assume they will be trimmed back to these curves, which aren't there. Uh, let me just make sure we extend it far enough so they can be trimmed. There you go. I need to come down a bit as well. Uh, we'll just use the trim edges of these t of this top square to project on. That's good. I mean, not quite what I wanted, but it would do. Maybe to fix that, I'll move these backwards a bit. Uh, that'll do. All right, uh, and trim. No, we'll do. We'll do the right radius now. One, two. Needs to be bigger. Let's try 20. I think that's about right. Let's have a look. Looks like quite a generous radius. Oh, my license is no longer available. Better hurry up then. I think it needs to be even bigger than that. Try 30. And same on here, 30. Let's see what it does. It's not going to be perfect. Yeah, it didn't do it. Okay, we'll have to draw those ones in. Let's get rid of some of these curves. It's distracting. Is on, trim away, keep, 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 freeform blend. And project those onto there. We're going to also actually project these onto there so I can get the blend curve right. Well, this needs to be smaller actually. Delete the history and trim that. Project those plain curves on and trim it down to size. Nice, and it's going to look much better when it's got little radiuses on it. Uh, I don't really know the inside, I guess. It looks like there's a chamfered edge and then straight down. So I'd just I'd go straight down first and then build a chamfered edge. Um, let's project these curves on first, or actually no, we'll shoot down a draft in Z and just intersect from there, 
Uh, of course it's not going all the way through. Anyway, that's what I'll do. Uh, is it in zero? Yeah, straight down. Keep going. I'm actually going to manipulate that a bit so it kind of intersects at the right point. Like there, that's good. Maybe a bit more outboard. Cool. And intersect one, two, three, four, five. Let's trim those back. Don't forget to save your work. Uh, right. Let's extend that curve on surface. Then this curve on surface. I'm going to delete the history um, and let's put some little radiuses on there to make it look a bit more finished. They are quite tight. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Let's say, I don't know, three mil. No, it didn't like that. Two mil then. I think I have gone a bit too thin here. That'll do. And this one, two mil as well, I reckon. Oh. Maybe a bit bigger. It's three mil for that one. Will it work? Oh yeah, just nice. And then this lower one. Yeah, a bit bigger on that one. Five. Looks lovely. And then I said I'd do a chamfered edge here, so instead of a uh, fillet, we'll do a chamfer. And I bet one of these won't be curvature. I hate that the draft tool sometimes does little surfaces like that, that it doesn't need to. Uh, three. Um, four. Yeah. Let's have a look. Looks about right. Cool. And then we just have to fill in the back. Fill in the door, the inside area. That, this is actually quite an annoying fiddly bit. Um, best thing to do is have like, well, first of all, got to hide the group and hide the uh, door handle. Hopefully, I can copy and paste that, like I said, to the rear door. Just trying to grab all the surfaces, not the door, though. Okay, group. So yeah, edit group. Mine's Control G, so I just press Control G and then hide that and let's try and build this back surface don't forget to save uh, so the best thing I do <laughs> he says with not real certainty is look at the image it's really like it's a massive scoop usually done by like engineering this kind of stuff it's usually not very good surfacing at all uh, but I will do a like a surface at the back and then draft off of these edges in and then do radius round but it can be really annoying this is where something like sub d would be good but anyway all right let's do a plane uh let's kind of scale it so it's a bit like lengthways oh, it doesn't even matter really Oh, I've rotated it somehow. Whatever. Uh, 
uh, I might rotate it this way with the door slightly. God, here we go. And then maybe in instead of draft, I would duplicate these edges and offset them in. So then build skins to those curves on surface. So let's try that. Duplicate. One, two, three. Okay, um, yeah, let's do offset. I don't know, 10 mil, more than that. 20 mil, Ugh. 15 mil. It's not going to look like how it should, really. Let's try it though. Um, That's not helpful. Okay, to help me understand, I'm going to do draft in Y. Not thinking straight, I'm hungry again. Change the angle to, I don't know, 25, minus 25. Hmm. See what it looks like with the door handle in. Yeah, I think if I just make that deeper. Now I need to, I'm going to give this, make this a bit shorter. Uh, oh, not too short though. No, I'm just going to keep it like that, yeah. And then intersect at that, trim that away. Oh god, here's the hard bit. Let's see. I'm dreading this now. What an annoying shape. Why couldn't they just done it round? I had to pick the 2018 model. Uh, yeah, I think I'll start by putting radiuses on these and work my way around curvature 15. I should really be looking at the orthographic, shouldn't I? Yeah, that's about right. Something weird here as well now. Maybe I can um, shrink it down. Oh god! Get away! Get rid of Pezzi. I hope that helps. Nope. Increase the CV count. Didn't help. Give it some spans. Still didn't help. There you go. 
I don't like spans, but sometimes you just need them to to get out of a hole. Uh, and then here, fifteen. Oh, cool. I'm going to delete history because I can feel it's going to crash soon. Save your work. <laughs> Didn't want to do 15 there, so let's try 10. I'm just going to double check the size of the radius here. Yeah, maybe that's uh, whatever. That'll do. And then this one. What's it look like in this? Reasonably tight. Let's go with 10. Too big. Uh, five. Yeah, that'll do. Extend. Five here as well. Ah, uh, of course. Um, that's because I need to build locally square in there trim convert and uh, yeah build a square Doesn't need to be a blank curve because it's going to be positional here. Just needs to be curvature here. Okay, square one, two, three, four, one tangent, two curvature. I'm gonna tweak this curve as well. It's better. And then I'm just gonna locally align it because it didn't pop in. Cool. And now we can put a radius in there. Delete history. One, two, three, four, five mil. Come on. Ah, ha, ha. I thought it would work. That's weird. Uh, okay, let's just build a freeform blend in there. It's not going to like it. I think that's like, yeah, so it should have worked really with the uh, fillet. But it doesn't matter. Freeform blend. It's not curvature. I don't know why they haven't popped into curvature. Okay, so we've got the bones. Let's bring it back to perspective. Looking good, looking realistic. Uh, I've just realised this, so this will need to be bigger now actually. Let's do it 10. Just because you want it to flow with the. Uh, the bucket, which is what it's doing now, so that's good. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just so tempted to just leave it like that now, because putting a rad all the way around there is a bit of a pain. So let's just see what it looks like again with this in and everything coloured correctly, like body colour. Yeah, 
doesn't look great. Looks like it needs a radius in there. She gonna rotate this because at the moment it's catching light, and we don't want it to catch light. Yeah. Okay, uh, I guess I will try to give it a radius, but it's going to be so difficult. I'm going to build it to that and then deal with the consequences later. It's got to be a big rad, so that's where I think it's not going to like it, especially going around those corners. Basically, it's like it needs to be like completely round. I haven't done that, so like it needs to look like this. One seat. This can probably go a bit more outboard. Uh, yeah, so there'd be a radius here that's massive, but then you've got to run that all the way around, and that means basically just doing loads of ball corners everywhere. I just cannot be asked. Something so small. Uh, 40. There you go, something like that. Default, default. So that's how it should look. This one would obviously be a lot smaller. 10 now. 15. Extend. And, and I guess because you can't see this because of the door handle we can leave that but this area needs to be done so we can do that quickly uh, so yeah this one was what was it 40 oh, I forgot to set it to default oh no ah uh, save your work Also going to copy and paste this bucket onto there and just draft it in, like because fuck doing this again. Boring. Uh, right, default. Great. Why have you bezier the surfaces there? You don't need to. Ah, oh, god. Uh, let's up the CV count. See if it will pop into curvature. Come on, let's keep it at five, and we'll just. I'm going to extend this. What the hell is going on? Oh god. It's not liking it at all. Let's see what the... Oh, Jesus. Jesus! Maybe I need some spans. Not that many. Oh god, it's going mad. I don't know why it's doing that. Let's try this side. That one's fine. I just need it to build something there for me. But it doesn't like it. Forty. Let's see. That's meant to be default. Let's see what happens when I just align it. I might help. Yeah. Uh. Yes, that's helped. Okay, delete the curves on surface, and I'm going to project align it. Get it to pop in. Cool. 
and now we just need to get these ball corners to work and then that'll do so come on let's do it We're nearly there ball corner let's see if I can do it without extending them through each other probably not worth a try though play around with this bar until something happens if it does oh yes nailed it uh, it's not even positional but we can fix that later if you want if you can be bothered uh, this one's definitely not going to work though it needs to be extended and of course it doesn't like it so what I'm going to do is create my own I think that and freeform blend it that's better maybe connect ends yeah delete history yeah that's really not good is it there but fix that in a bit let's try ball corner here one two three come on Oof. No, it wants to do it, but it hasn't. Uh, okay. Maybe if I untrim that. One, two, three, go. Yeah, sometimes you just have to untrim it. So let's build that in, nice. And then we need a ball corner up here. I don't think it's going to work without extending them to each other. I'm going to try again. No. Uh, Delete, delete all the history. I'm gonna untrim this. I'm gonna try extending it, but I don't think it's gonna like it. Not terrible. I'll have to reproject it on, like realign it on to that surface. Yeah. Uh, this one as well needs to extend, uh, and also realign it. Project the line. Ball corner tool. One, two, three, and hope it works. Cool. Yeah, that's good. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. Uh, cool. Reproject that on. Keep. Oh my god. Delete history. Project that edge back on because for some reason it disappeared. Keep. Good. And now we just have to do this ball corner and then do a, like a radius around the edge. And then we're good. And then copy and paste that onto the rear door and hope that it fits. Save your work. This, I have a feeling is going to go crazy when I try to extend it. Yep, so I'm going to have to do the same as what I did on the other side. Uh, and build a carbon surface. It's annoying because I've already done the ball corner, so I have to get rid of that. It's a carbon surface. Uh, preform blend. Extend it. Maybe even that way as well. Realign it. Extend this as well. And realign it. Protect the line. Didn't like it. I don't know why. Try again. Because that should work. There we go. Uh, ball corner. Do this one again first and trim that. One, two, three, go, come on. Uh. Oh, now it's not doing it. Fuck's sake, it's so annoying. I'll start by untrimming that. I'll try again. One, two, three. There you go, just a case of untrimming. Cool. Uh, delete the history. And trim this. Pull corner. One, two, three. 
go. Oh, really doesn't like this one, does it? I'm going to untick that box. I'm going to make this go lower by just maneuvering one of the bars. That helps a lot. Cool. And that'll do. Like we don't need. We're not going to see those because of the handle. So screw them. Like it's quite a fiddly area. It'll take a while to rad up. So just delete the history. Trim this back. Uh, we'll put a little radius around there, and then reintroduce the. So wait there. Delete history. Reintroduce the door handle. Let's have a look with the door handle now. Yeah, nice. Looking much more like a finished car. Uh, let's untrim this. Project these back on. These on. And trim it away. Make sure. Oh. Oh fuck. Make sure you keep this surface as well because it's the other side of the shot gap. I'm gonna sneeze. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> uh, same with this one. Project that on. Trim. Oh. And project it this side. Keep. Keep. And again, watch out for the shot gap. Trim. Keep. Cool. Right now, let's do a radius round. Oh, I just realised. There's a hole there. We don't want that. Come on, save. Let's get this done. We're just going to do a small radius all the way round. And hope it works first time. Just do it at like 2 mil or something. Don't forget to select these surfaces. Come on. I hope it's set to default because if it's set to edge line, it's probably going to go mad. Oh, nice! Did it? What's this? I can go away. Oh, it didn't do it there. I saw it. The history. I'll just make my own. I'll make a little local one there. Good. History. Keep, keep. Nice. Door handle in. Great. It looks awesome. Now copy and paste that to there <laughs> and see what happens. Uh, first, I'm going to make. I'm just going to grief all this. Minus the radius because we will have to do a new radius. Let's just grab it all, won't it? Object, grab all, deselect, deselect. So remember, deselect is a uh, right mouse button. Uh, group and copy and paste these two. One, two, copy, paste. Move it inside view first. And we'll have to definitely do some rotating. Come on. Moving it down just quickly because I want to be able to grab it and not the other one. Object. So dimension wise it is the same, which is good. It just needs to be rotated in plan, I think. So let's have a look. Well not far off at all. Let's uh also, don't forget. Oh no! Oh, of course. For some reason that didn't group. Oh, that's weird. Weird. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened there. Let's try again. One, two. One. Two. Copy 
copy paste yes no, it was fine last time I was just getting confused uh, so this group behind here because it's been radiused it needs to be untrimmed so let's untrim yes there you go so now it's got its most outer edge back it's actually really good like it's really close might need to be rotated in Z so like just lean it into the body like that a little bit and then I think the rest of it's alright just push it in till it's still we want it to poke out a little bit which needs to rotate a bit in, no, in that direction I'm gonna say I'm happy with that. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, it's close to being good, but it's not quite what I'd like. Oh well. Let's get rid of the handle. Yeah, so there it's slightly. I think it's just about poking out now. No, so close. There you go. Alright, that'll do. Intersect that with this body. Trim the body away. Oh, come off it. Just extend that curve on surface. Discard. Really? Oh, that's crazy. Actually, got to bring it out a tiny bit. going on here. Oh this is the blackout for blackout for the uh, shut gap. Let's trim that back. No it didn't work. Okay it's the wrong one. There we go. Oh what's happened here? It's all untrimmed. Oh yeah, because I untrimmed it so it could uh, intersect the body. And then we just trim these back. Oh, has to be trimmed back a lot. Shit, okay, that means the door handle is going to be quite extruded. We can play around. This is a big cheat though, usually like in the industry you would have to just rebuild this bucket for both doors, but yeah, I just, there's no time. back see that it's extruded uh, but what I'm gonna do is move it in no view whatever no get rid of this guy and then just radius around the edge and then door handles are done so it's how you work I hope this has been recording yes uh, fill it around the edge, let's go. Fuck you. Oh god, I don't think it's going to go around that corner there. Come on, two mil rad. So default, yep. Build. Uh, 
Uh, it looks a bit messy in places, but no, nah, that'll do. Cool. Delete history. Trim this back. Bring the door handle back. Look at that. Beautiful. This does need to come in a bit more. Maybe even rotate it. Rotate and also move it in. Nice. Life hack complete. Uh, what's this guy? Can fuck off. And there you go. There's your Audi A6 with door handles and shut gaps. Hopefully you'll have taken the time to put the rest of the gaps in because it makes it look so much more realistic. I'm going to do that. I will. I guess I'll create a video of me doing that, but I'm not going to be explaining anything. I'll just be like doing it like I did with the curved network. May as well record everything. Uh, and then it's just adding the final little details, like there's some stuff going on in the grill which we need to put in. Uh, there's that little antenna on the top which will make it look a bit more realistic. Uh, and little radiuses everywhere. If you can be bothered to do that, do it. Like You know how to do rads now, just make it as realistic as you like. I'm going to make that black. Uh, yeah, so yeah, it's up to you how realistic you want to make it. I'm not going to go too crazy because I want to get to the point where I can show you Well, I need to build a wheel and then I want to show you how to prepare it for V-RED and import it into V-RED and just like assign basic shaders and, and environments and 